gospel DJ Ken the DJ karibu uh -huh. sana mambo vipi mko fresh kabisa uh -huh. asante sana uh -huh. for this nakaa vizuri asante sana asante sana ni mungu ni kawaida ni mungu was dressed you maybe you can tell us ah uh, ini medi dress uh -huh. uh, lilienda kikomba <laughs> nikapata suti mzuri nikasema leta hiyo uh -huh. nikapata tie mzuri nikasema leta hiyo Yes, mimi ni mtu dress. Yes. Alafu kitambo we used to see that gospel used to be played a lot kwa airways. Okay. Wewe kama DJ, why yeah. do you think squeezy haiko as much as kitambo? Uh what I think ni you know me na believe na believe uh, in a you know kila kitu kuna seasons eh. Uh, season hata kwa ministry kuna season kuna season watu watafurahia kuna season ya, ya, ya kulia kuna season tu vitu zimesimama and so i believe that in the hata uh, hata kwetu kuna time god alikuwa anataka ku make a statement mahali and ilikuwa wave unaweza kumbuka kila mahali gospel ilikuwa inachezwa kwa clubs nini i'm not saying that that bado sasa hii hiyo kitu god agenda anataka haita i happen ina happen but i believe that uh, bado gospel imeanza kuamka watu wanaipata and so uh, ina in to the head ukiona vitu kama hizi kibali zinarudi uh, muziki zinarudi wasanii wapi wanakuja wana, wana watu wana appreciate it's something that naweza sema tunaenda place poor uh -huh. yeah alafu uko na mpoa ah uh, sina mpoa una mpoa uko soko muna, muna plan nini <laughs> <laughs> maybe uh, kidogo tu tukitoka hapo hey, even hey. uh, maybe we get a return into the gospel industry yeah. of course your story is out here of how you found yourself in the djing yeah. and the gospel industry but right. ningependa kujua with the whole debate about the gospel industry mm. what are some of the challenges umepitia as a dj okay. cuz i know sometimes uh, mnakwanga mnarushi wa mawe yeah. kwamba maybe nyinyi ndio umefanya gospel karudi chini yeah. things like that yeah. what are some of the challenges main challenges umepitia kama dj Uh, I mean uh, ukikuwa na na big platform uh, kuna challenges uh, you know uh, unapata I'll be very honest eh, ukikuwa pale juu uh, kuna femi na kam doi na kam mademo na kam and so if you're not very careful hizo vitu zinaweza ingia zinaweza ingia into your head uanze kuona wewe ni wewe ni msembigi hakuna msana anaweza kukushoeni uh, nikitaka interviews kaa nyinyi mnaniambia manze mnafa kubuka appointment manze yeah. mimi sitapangi interview vitu kaa hizo and so I, 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 i mean hizo challenges unasema wasona warusha mawe but you know you keep focused na ile kitu god amekuita hudumu uh, femi na kama unajua ukifika pale hauwezi jua kama imeingia yeah. utapata tu manze unaanza ku receive your places then us for receive your place vile kama celeb una feel kama ah so waja ku, waja ku recognize vizuri but kitu kitu tu yenye imenisaidia ni ni kuweka god mbele na kukuwa na mentors wenye wamekuwa kwa hii game before mimi nilikuwa mentor na DJ Croba amenisaidia sana kwa hii safari and so those are some of the challenges zina zina come fame madam do watu kwa rushia uh, you know hizo uh, malawama watu wasipo make it but then it's not about you uh, it's not you that you are making that thing happen eh ni hizo tu uh speculations about what people are thinking uko nje but uh, for me naweza sema god amenishikilia sana yeah alafu ni qualifications gani zenye ngoma inafaa kuwa nayo ndio wewe icheze right for me it's very simple uh, quality of music uh, audio video lazima zikuwe juu and sisi sisa kama ni gospel lazima tusikie message unaimba nini message yako ni scriptural ama tu umeimba because uh, unataka kuimba gospel because kuna watu huimba out of scripture so for me ni, ni quality ya mziki kwe fiti both audio na video uh, msanii aimbe fiti unajua pia wasanii wa chapiti hizi eh, wasanii wetu because gospel unapata mtu anasema neme inatosha so mtu anaingia tu studio because ana feel ni god amemwambia <laughs> amemwambia wewe una zaimba so anaingia tu studio anaanza kuimba so ajali about the craft so kama msani anaimba fiti production iko fiti message iko poa tick maybe on that on the quality of uh, audio and uh, messaging in uh, any song yeah. maybe you can make a statement on uh, kuna wimbo ambao ulitolewa i think a month ago okay na msani anasema yeye ni wa gospel okay. anaitwa embarambamba okay anasema anataka <laughs> kupanuliwa anataka kunyonywa dhambi uh -huh. na pia kupanuliwa uh, <laughs> vitu kama hizo do you feel like they are bringing down the gospel industry okay so so kama sasa nimekwambia message is very important so mimi nikiget song kama hiyo nitasikia umsa anaimba nini 
So first of all, uh, message kama hiyo kunyonywa sijui kunini. When, sasa the first impression hata the first thing umesikia na hiyo ngoma already sha ku throw off. So for me si hizi za ngoma kaya hiyo. Eh, because kama we mwenyewe ushaifeel hivyo na, na 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 you know na umefeel kitu mbaya siwezi kukuchezea. And so I mean watu tuwa kwa serious eh hizi eh, vitu za kiki za kusukuma mziki I mean gospel I I uh, they're not necessary. Eh we imba tu imbo poa imba message fit message itasukuma. Watu wanaimba kuna kuna boy fulani mpya amekaa ama anaitwa Sami G. Yeah. I don't, don't know kama namjua. Eh boy anaimba fit manze na watu wamemkubali. Hajatumia kiki hajatumia anything. So watu tu manze watu waimbe the real gospel. Uh -huh. eh.